everybody out in YouTube land, and welcome back to a new episode of GBA. In this episode, we're opening up the April BAM Gamer Box, or at least what I think is the April BAM Gamer Box. Uh, this box always shows up at the end of the month, so it's kind of a little bit wishy-washy which box I'm opening. But um, before we get into that, though, I want to say real quick thank you so very much to the people who have subscribed to my channel. Uh, this is the first chance I have an opportunity to bring it up. But I just recently passed over 700 subscribers, and that means a world to me. I never really thought that I would get that many subscribers, to be honest with you. I started making videos, um, well, it'll be two years in August. Uh, and I also just recently posted my 200th uh, video, which is also pretty cool. But, you know, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for spreading so much positivity and being so... Uh, you know, nice to me and engaging in the comments and stuff like that. I know I'm not the best at this, but I do plan on trying to get better as time goes by. But yeah, I just want to say a real quick thank you to everybody out there for helping me get over 700 subscribers. Um, definitely didn't think I would do that, especially in less than two years. So I do appreciate that. I appreciate all the positivity. I appreciate all the kindness. And I appreciate every single person that watches any of my videos. And just a big thank you to everybody out there who has subscribed to Game Bunker Adventures. So yeah, thank you for that. But um, back to the uh, BAM Gamer Box. Uh, this is a monthly subscription service. It's video game related, obviously. Uh, what sets the uh, BAM Box apart from other boxes is you get a celebrity autograph in every single box. So that's really cool. Um, this box costs right around that $30 price point, give or take a few dollars. Um, if you go on BAMBOX.com which is on the side of the box there. Um, they have other boxes you can sign up for. They have like a standard BAM uh, geeky box. Uh, they have a horror box. They have an anime box. I think they just recently started like a comic book subscription too. So there's a lot of choices out there. Um, I picked the gamer box because as you guys know, I'm a big uh, gamer, uh, gaming fan, gamer in general. Uh, I do like the retro stuff more than the modern stuff, but I still get into some modern stuff. Uh, but yeah. I guess without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's open up this April BAM Gamer Box and let's see what we got. Get our trusty box cutter here. And let's cut away from us for safety purposes. Uh, like usual, I can't remember what the franchises were in this box. Um, if I remember correctly, I wasn't overly thrilled about it, but we shall see, right? Um, I get this box mainly for the autographs, to be completely honest with you. To me, that's basically the value of the box all right so first up we got some packing material throw that to the side we've got the uh, BAM paper on top of the products and let's go ahead and let's start pulling some stuff out of here and let's see what we got this month all right so first up we have a uh, Funko Pop that's interesting uh, usually we don't get Funko Pops in this box Unfortunately, it is a Fortnite Funko Pop, which I do not play Fortnite, but it is a pretty cool little Funko Pop. It's a, it's a fish, I guess. His name is Fish Stick. If you guys play Fortnite, let me know about this character. Is he fun to play with? I don't even know if there's any differences between the characters in the game, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but yeah, uh, I mean, it's cool. I, I like Funko Pops. I do collect Funko Pops. And since this is gamer related, that's cool. It'll stay in my collection. Uh, I'll try to take a picture of this outside. It, it does come in a pop protector, so that's pretty cool. So it's at least protected. Uh, but I'll try to take a closer picture of this and put it in the video if I remember. But yeah, first thing out of the box, we have a Fish Stick Fortnite Funko Pop. So that's really cool. I would rather get that than like the, uh, the prop replicas that usually come in this box. All right, so next up we have our pen. So this looks about right, so I'll show you guys first. Alright, so our pen is of... I have no earthly idea. It looks a little bit like... Well, I, I really don't know. If you guys know who this is supposed to be, uh, let me know down in the comments. But I'm sure the uh, cheat sheet will tell us. Uh, they have, like, the artist uh, do these pens. So it is like an interpretation, so it does make it a little bit hard to tell who this is um, and I have no idea so we will find out later all right so next up we have our uh, BAM scratch-off ticket 
Uh, you can win free boxes or other prizes with this. I have yet to win anything. I always do these off camera. But I mean, it's a neat little throw-in touch, you know, and a chance to win something. Um, like I said, I just haven't been lucky enough to do that yet. All right, so first up, we have our print. Um, is this, which way? This way. Show you guys this print. And just like the, uh, uh, the uh, enamel pens, these prints are done by artists. Uh, so this is number 440 out of 500. So this is probably one of the rarer prints. Is this Castlevania? Forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm sure we'll find out with the card. But that's kind of the vibes I get from it. But I could be wrong. Forgive me if I am. And then... Trying to make sure... Yeah, this is it. This is the last thing in the box, which is our autograph. I will show you guys first. Alright, so our autograph is... Um, I'm not sure. What, what game is this? This is another one of those arena shooter games, I think. Um, but just like all the autographs, I mean, it's a cool autograph. It looks like it's signed by the name of the character and the uh, person who played the character, apparently. And all these autographs do come with a Beckett Certificate of Authenticity, which is cool, so you can uh, make sure that they're real. Um, gosh, what what is this game? I know this game. I just can't think of the name off the top of my head. But yeah, so pretty cool um, autographed uh, picture there. All right, so I missed it, but we do have a card, uh, just like usual in this box. And this is of, uh, what is that, Majora's Mask? I know this is going to sound crazy, but I never really played this game too much. But I do recognize it, obviously. But yeah, these cards are cool little throw-in items. And these are artist select cards, so they're drawn by some of their artists or whatnot. All right. So we have our monthly giveaway card, which is awesome. It looks like you could uh, basically win two autograph things. Looks like there is, what, a comic book and a Funko Pop, which I would love to have that uh, Funko Pop there. I haven't, I, to be honest with you, I haven't even ever entered in to get these or whatnot, but I do think it's pretty cool they're doing stuff like that. So we'll throw that down to the side. All right, so our... Featured Celebrity Autograph, Overwatch, that's the name of the game. I knew that's what it was. I knew it was like one of those Battle Royale shooters. Um, but the person's also known for Star Wars, The Old Republic, and World of Warcraft. And it's Jen Cohn, I guess is how you pronounce that name. I apologize if I butchered that, but there you go. That's what that looks like. And then the last thing in the box is our spoiler card. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at this and let's see what we got here. So I was right. We did get one of the rare art prints, so that's always pretty fun. Uh, so the pen. Contra. That's weird. I really didn't get Contra from that pen, but apparently that's what that is. But I mean, it's still cool. So, you know, and, and obviously you got the uh, autograph from the Overwatch game. Um... And the, it looks like the uh, art print was a Castlevania art print, so I was right about that. And then, you know, we got the uh, Funko Pop from Fortnite and the Artist Select card. So that's, I mean, you know, overall this was a pretty cool box. I do like the uh, franchises. I just wasn't really necessarily pleased with what franchises we got with what items. Like, obviously, I would rather the Contra item and the Castlevania item be something cooler, like a Funko Pop or an autograph. But it is what it is. So I guess without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and let's do some pricing and recap and let's see what kind of value we got for this box compared to what we paid out. That's one of the ways I always grade these boxes. So first up, we'll start with the pop. Let's give this $10. Seems about fair. The card, let's do two. So that's 12. The pen, we'll do five. So that's, what, 17. Art print, we'll do five. So 17 and 5 takes us up to, what, 22 And then the autograph will give $20. So basically that gives us $42 in value. If we pay $30 for a box, that means we got pretty good value. So it definitely checks that box for me. 
the uh, second way I rate these boxes is do I like the stuff they sent me? And this box is sort of lackluster in my opinion. Some franchises, some, uh, franchises I'm not really fond of. Some other franchises where I didn't really like the items that we got to correlate with the franchise. But I would still give this box a solid C, C plus grade. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about this box. Did you think this stuff was worth about $30? What letter grade would you give this box? I'd love to have a little conversation with you guys about the BAM box. But guys, that's probably going to do it for this video. But first, I want to say thank you so very much for tuning into this episode of GBA. If you haven't, please like, comment, subscribe. It would help me out tremendously. If you know anybody else who might like this kind of content, please share the video around. I'm always looking to grow the channel a little bit. But guys, until next time, I think I'm going to go open up some more boxes, maybe play some video games. Try to enjoy the rest of my evening. I hope you do too. So until next time, everyone, I'll see you later.